When an SEO consultant joins Type A Media, the first thing we get them to do is get really good at spreadsheets. So that's everything from VLOOKUPs to index match to pivot tables, you name it. I want you to be able to get big clumps of data in and very quickly be able to analyze that. The great thing about using Google Sheets to do this is something called query, which is kind of like a pseudo SQL type of language. And I'm gonna show you all the SEO tips and tricks I've got using query inside of Google Sheets to make your data analysis lives way, way easier. So I think we've all been in a position where we get a bunch of Search Console data in and we can see our keywords and stuff like that. But the thing is like, 5,000 keywords, it's kind of hard to actually work out what to do with this data. I mean, there's some obvious things, right? I mean, you could stick it in a table. That's relatively straightforward. So we'll select the entire thing and stick it in a nice little filter table. Um, and then we can know you can start filtering through it, which is fine. You know, you've got filter by condition. So give me everything that's, you know, greater than, you know, 10,000 impressions so I can see all the kind of high-end stuff and that'll chop it down and you know maybe I just want to sort it by you know topic or something like that so these people sell uh, lighting so maybe I want to see like text contains you know maybe I want to see all the black stuff and in in, in, or something like that okay there's not enough um, when it comes to impressions so, oh gosh I need to change this again and c can you see how this is not an ideal way to manipulate data in a table because it doesn't really tell me anything and even when I do get down to the things I want to see it's still really cumbersome and it physically changes how the data looks like I don't want that I want my data to be preserved and in one place but I want to be able to manipulate it almost as if I'm querying a database and that leads me on to query Query is something which is a pseudo SQL style language which you can use inside of Google Sheets and I'm going to show you how to use it just now. So I'm going to put this data back the way we found it and we're going to jump into the next sheet to show you how you can very quickly get insights into massive data sets. Okay, so this is the way we found it as we've exported it from Search Console. We then jump into query language itself. So what do we do? First and foremost, equals query, open bracket. So the first thing we need to do is actually tell it what we want to query. In this instance, we want to query our search console. Great, comma, and now we actually need to give it a command. What do we want to do here? We need to give it the parentheses, and I say, well, I want you to select everything in the table, which is a wild card, that's the, the asterisk. Um, I only want you to select it where column A contains, let's say, well, let's just use black because that's a nice, easy differentiator. The term black sounds good. And we'll close the parentheses and the brackets and hit enter. And before you know it, those 5,000 now down to 81 and it's all the black variants of the products. Oh, this is kind of cool. Um, and my original data set is completely intact with nothing hitting it. Okay, so getting that data is all very well and good. And now what I really want to do is kind of make it a bit more useful. Maybe I actually want to see everything where the average position is actually on page one. So in this instance, all we do is go back into it and we just say, and show me everything where column D is less than 10, just like you do in a table, but really dynamically like that. Ha, huh, that's so cool. So in terms of very quickly looking at perhaps a product range and working out the places where you're already ranking well and you want to start pushing a little bit more, this is probably the place that you want to start looking. These are the target keywords that you want to start optimizing and pulling in. Now, that's all very well and good, but what if we want something that's even more dynamic than that, where we don't need to constantly be pushing through tons and tons of formula? Okay, well, let me take you to the next page of this. So you're going to notice here that we've got a bunch of kind of top line pieces of information. So the great thing about query language is that you can actually do computation inside of it. So whereas before we just selected wildcard, select everything where A contains a keyword. Now what I can do is say if it contains, let's say, a product variant, 
in this case the people sell lamps, so different colours of lamps and lampshades, cool. And what it will actually do for me is it will average up absolutely everything. So inside of this massive Google search console thing that we've pulled out, um, I can get it to show me if it is a white lampshade or pertaining to a particular product range, I can get it to average out my position, my click through date, my clicks, my impressions, yada yada yada. So I can actually start seeing a top level view of product groupings inside of Search Console, which is really useful. Um, and the way I do that is really super simple. All I'm doing there is saying, again, query equals, and then it's GSC, which is my Search Console down here. And I'm saying, select the average of B where A contains, then you see this thing here, you're like, huh, what is that, Ross? It's referencing this cell here. And what we can do here is I can say, you know, let's change that to the color black. Oh, everything changes because what it's now doing is looking for the color black. Uh, and you can do certain like product categories. So show me all the pendants, for example. And all of a sudden, all this stuff starts changing. So you can very quickly query data sets and do computation on them literally with a couple of keystrokes instead of building out really overly complex sheets and nested formulas and arrays and all that stuff. Now, this is all very well and good, but what about if I want to have this run, but also my initial query, what if I want it to reference how I change this data? Well, really simple. Let me show you. So as before, equals query, and then it's GSCAE, which of course is referencing Google Search Console, and it says select star, which means wildcard, which means everything, uh, where A contains, and then we've got this thing, it's like um, parentheses, ampersand, and then a reference to the data sheet in A2, and then that closing out. So let's actually see what happens when we run that. Aha, okay, so what it's doing, is it's actually referencing this pendant keyword here and it's giving us the data we want just about pendants. So what happens if we then go in and perhaps change that to maybe a color variant? We get our top line numbers changing, which is great. Aha, it also changes to black. So you can start seeing how you can start to use this to very quickly manipulate data. Instead of doing your usual pivot tables and, you know, constantly filtering things and cutting the data out, we've been able to do this and get the exact data we need whilst preserving our core search console data so we can always refer to it and always go back to it. So you can use this for building reports, mining data, or doing any kind of basic analysis. And just as a final recap, all you need to do is equals query. You're then selecting the data set that you're actually querying then you're opening parentheses. It's really important that these two parentheses open and close everything. Then you're saying select, telling it what to select. You can give it different columns. You can give it the entire thing. And then you give a condition. Select everything where A contains my keywords. Really simple. And if you want to keep appending things on, that's really easy as well. We just put and and add it on and add it on. So for example, let's say I want to say where A contains the keyword black, that will be the same because it's the same query. Um, and then if I want to say um, and uh, D, here we go. And what that's done is it's taken everything that's not on page one. It said, show me where D is greater than 10. So show me where my average position isn't page one. So it's chopped it down even more. And you can literally just keep doing that and doing that and doing that. And it will just keep chopping the data down, chopping the data down, chopping the data down. So in this instance, when I'm saying, you know, and D is less than 10 or E is less than 10, what we can actually do, instead of actually putting it in the formula, what we should probably do is link it. So if it's less than the average or if it's more than the average, I want to see that so I can work out, well, if my click through date or my impressions or my clicks are lower than the average for these keywords, I probably need to optimize them.
but I can do that in literally a heartbeat as I've just shown you. Hope you found this one useful and for any comments please leave them down below and I'll jump into the comments and answer any questions you've got about using Query. There you have it, that's using Query to save a bunch of time on your data analysis. Done.